reporting live from the parking garage, ready to go in for my fourth, my four night shifts on family day. It's live from last week, episode 113. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Tree Walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. First of all, for everybody that don't know what today is, it is February the 14th, aka Valentine's Day. A day that signifies a special love for one another. And I was also reminded about this date while making my daily peanut butter sandwich when I looked at the bread bag tag and saw that it was labeled for today's date. Another story that I have for you guys is that on my way to my night shift last night, throwing back the previous Laugh From Last Week episode scenes that were shot at one of my favorite festive houses on Kingston Road, I stopped by that house to check out all the decorations that they have for this year's Valentine's Day. And speaking of being festive, we too have decorations up in the condo to commemorate today. With, of course, this baby. Our very unique Valentine's Day tree. I also broke out this festive ornament that has a couple of hearts on it straight out of the box, using it for the first time since I went to the Blackpink concert late last year. And yeah, also on my checklist of things to do this Valentine's Day, in between my night shifts this morning, I went to do my monthly visit to Lola to greet her Happy Valentine's Day. Hey Lola, good morning. It's JJ. I just wanted to stop by in between my two night shifts and wish you with this heart a Happy Valentine's Day, Lola. All right, let's put this baby right here for Lola. And look what we got here. I also see that you still have the Lola wine that I got you previously. Okay, Lola, on this Valentine's Day, just want to remind you that we're still thinking about you, still praying for you, and that we love you. But yeah, guys, before I go in for my fourth shift in the span of five nights and wear my holiday-themed pink Valentine's Day scrubs to night shift tonight, I have a quick birthday greeting to a buddy of mine who I miss hanging out with back when he lived here in Scarborough. This birthday shout-out goes out to you, Carta. Happy birthday, Carta. We've also got a birthday shout out to a beach volleyball friend of mine who I admire developing their skills year after year playing twos with them on the beach. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Carol. Happy birthday, Carol. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So guys, after my night shift this morning, recalling this scene from last week, watching Flashpoint with their episode at Maple Leaf Gardens, and seeing this Zamboni parked in a local parking lot, I went to the actual Maple Leaf Gardens at the Lavas there to roam around for a little bit, going grocery shopping among the several Valentine's Day decorations here, before going back home and passing out for a post-night shift nap of only 30 minutes. And I'm thinking I just couldn't stay asleep because I'm too excited for the fact that the wife is coming home from her Iceland trip tonight. So I tried to blow off some extra energy by doing some afternoon workouts, going on the stationary bike for twice the amount of time that I spent sleeping today, getting a decent sweat in, and recalling this beauty of a package that I got about a week ago. This afternoon, I opened up the box that revealed my push-up board workout, which as a matter of fact, I'm pretty excited to use. And by using several handle positions on this board, with the many different color combinations seen here, one can work on their chest, their shoulders, their triceps, and last but not least, their back. And by this video, guys, you can definitely tell that I felt so out of shape. Anyways, afterwards, on a warm but gusty day today, I headed out on the 401 in rush hour traffic to make our way to our usual spot for airport passenger pickup here at Pearson. The one, the only cell phone waiting area for the wife's arrival into Toronto from Iceland. But while we wait for a call, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys 
today. Starting out with one of my FSAT friends that I remember going on the FSA boat cruise with back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Teresa. Happy birthday, Teresa. Next up, a birthday shout out to one of my former coworkers who would tell me to shake my fist at the cardiac monitors when they got annoying. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Rupa. Happy birthday, Rupa. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my SMIOA friends back in the States. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Valerie. Happy birthday, Val. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, guys, now that the wife has texted me that her plane has landed, it's now time to go and pick her up. Yes. Hi. Hi guys! Welcome back Hi. to Canada. Wow. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Welcome back to Canada! Thank you! So after picking up the wife and grabbing some pho at the local pho 99, I passed out at the Saga home last night only to get up before 6 a.m., getting only six and a half hours of restful sleep. So before the sun rose and before everyone got up, I broke out the laptop and started to work on some live from last week footage in the dark. With a couple of hours later, the wife surprising me for breakfast with these. Some Icelandic hot dogs that she got me from her trip, which were interesting to taste with a mix of pork, beef, and Icelandic lamb. They also had a signature pop when you bit into the casing and it was definitely an interesting experience different from the North American hot dogs that we have here. Anyways, later this morning after a week not seeing the wife, I decided to take her on a date. Doing something that we haven't done since before the pandemic and also something that I thought of when we weren't able to do it last week with my cousins at Splitsville. And that my friends was to go bowling. Another cool thing that happened today was after getting a notification from one of the Toronto Argonauts fan Facebook pages. Before leaving the bowling alley, I made this core memory. Wow. Yeah, I've never quite seen it like that. <laughs> Thanks, Argos, for winning this for us. <laughs> So a big shout out to the Argonauts and the organizers of this event who allowed me to lift and hoist the legendary CFL Grey Cup. And I'm hoping to run into you guys at BMO Field sometime in the future when the Argos start their back-to-back -back championship run. Now moving on, we went back to the Saga place to see this guard dog guarding the house. I got my things together to go to the local Planet Fitness here in Saga. Not to mention these scenes from previous Laugh From Last Week episodes. One thing I am recalling are the new features that this Planet Fitness will have for new workout machines. The rowing machines. I was able to use these new rowers that they have here and get my sweat on burning off all those calories I ingested eating those Icelandic hot dogs earlier. I also got the opportunity to wrap up my workouts by jumping on the coin-operated massage chairs and trying out for the first time since before the pandemic 
this special room that I'm currently in, also known as the Total Body Enhancement Room. Bodies. Power button once, left button twice, plus sign four times. Okay. Let's try this, baby. Oh, shoot. So bright. Bye-bye. Okay, 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 okay. The floor is jiggling. The floor is jiggling. Woo! Total body enhancement. <laughs> Haven't done this in two years. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to take off your clothes, but whatever. But before I leave you guys for the day, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my old wise friends when I used to live there. This birthday shout out goes out to you Priscilla. Happy birthday Priscilla. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So before I left the gym last night, I saw that Planet Fitness had these Peloton looking stationary bikes. Ones that I'm actually really excited to try out the next time I'm at a Planet Fitness. But anyways, after getting back to the Saga home for dinner, for dessert, we checked out this old Netflix special that we haven't got around to until last night. The movie called The Tinder Swindler. Which guys, we were trying to focus on watching while intermittently being interrupted by this little pup. I was driving down this road and I saw a trailer coming towards but moving on, after a short, semi-restful sleep last night, we woke up early to drive the wife downtown for her day shift before ending up back here in Scarborough to do a nice afternoon workout, getting a nice sweat in, as you guys can see here, on the stationary bike, and breaking out my new push-up board that I showcased to you guys a couple days ago, trying out different positions and exercises until I got 100 push-ups in. But yeah guys, this evening, before I go in for my first of my scheduled four night shifts tonight, doing a set of six shifts in the next seven days, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my university friends out there, Miko. Happy birthday, Miko. As well as a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends that I've known since back at our mother Teresa days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jolene. Happy birthday, Jolene. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after a decent night shift where I was able to get also a decent post-night shift nap, I was back on the stationary bike for a nice one hour session, as well as breaking out my push-up board for the second day in a row to do over 100 push-ups in between my night shifts. Speaking of which, before I go in for my second of my four night shifts in a row, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my family friends who always reminds me to pay my yearly licensing fees. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. As well as a beach volleyball friend with whom I played with in a beach volleyball tournament a couple summers ago. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Carlos. Happy birthday, Carlos. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers overseas who I used to hang out with back in my days at Wysik. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Eugene. Happy birthday, Eugene. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my former Wysik friends who is also a big soccer fan, Man U fan, and a World Cup fan. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Adam. Happy birthday, Adam. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But hold up, before I leave y'all for today, I just want to show y'all what was happening at the NBA All-Star Celebrity Game while I was in the middle of filming. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers with whom I've lived in Weiss. Oh! Oh my gosh! But, although it would have been a crazy ending to that game, with it being a half-court game-winning buzzer beater, unfortunately, it was just a little bit too late and did not count. Post night shift this morning, I had decided to go to Sunday morning Catholic Mass at the local church that the wife and I actually got married at and haven't been to in quite a long time. The one, the only, 
Our Lady of Lords Parish before heading home for a quick post night shift nap. Getting a nice sweat in doing this nice bike workout in the afternoon on the stationary bike. As well as doing these weighted dumbbell leg workouts as you see here. And being motivated by catching up on these episodes that we missed this past week of one of our favorite programs on Netflix called Physical 100. Mainly because we want to catch up on the show before the finale on February 21st with my cousin Faye later this week inviting us to catch the season ender with her and we don't want to miss it. But anyways guys, it's time to go in for my third of my scheduled four night shifts tonight and I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. First of all, I want to wish not just my family, but all my viewers' families out there, a happy family day. With also another quick celebration today, wearing my Get Shift Done shirt. With the reason being, I'm going in for my fourth of my four night shifts tonight. Only means that I'm going in for one more night. But yeah, starting off the day by treating out the mini to a nice buffet breakfast this morning, then having another lackluster three hour post night shift nap, I got in another decent stationary bike bike session in between my night shifts, getting my nice little yellow t-shirt soaked with a nice workout sweat on, as well as using that patented push-up board to get another 100 push-ups in this afternoon. But before I commute to go in for my last night shift tonight, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my FSAT friends who I thought was an inspiration to me doing martial arts. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Luigi. Happy birthday, Luigi. As well as a birthday shout out to one of my former coworkers who I can't wait to meet up with visiting Toronto later this month. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mara. Happy birthday, Mara. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And with that, guys, we've wrapped up this week's Live From Last Week episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.